and we announced the uh, collaboration and the partnership with, uh, with ITU. I think it is very important that we work together with such uh, well-reputed international organization like the <clears throat> ITU. So uh, we believe that the best way to uh, promote the adoption of AI by all uh, countries uh, is to share the knowledge and exchange the best practices between uh, different countries. And basically, this is what we did here in Saudi Arabia a while ago. Uh, we thought that we need to have sort of uh, centralized learning uh, for AI. So uh, this led us to the need that we need to have all the governmental data uh, collected in one single place. We called it later the National Data Bank. So with this National Data, data Bank, we can come up with different insights using AI-based uh, systems and techniques. Uh, in order to uh, start from where the others uh, finished, we looked around and we found that our friends and colleagues uh, in South Korea, they did an excellent job in this regard. So we communicated with them. We even visited them in South Korea to uh, make sure that we understand this experience well. So uh, it was a good experience for both of us. Also, when we decided to go ahead with the innovation, to drive the innovation and the research and development, we thought our colleagues in Singapore, in UK, and in Australia, they did excellent job in this. So we benefited from these experiences. Also back to Saudi, when we decided to make a bold move towards uh, uh, considering and elevating the uh, AI as uh, a national uh, potential asset. Uh, it's the oil of the 21st uh, century. So uh, we decided to establish a new organization and we called it STAIA, the Saudi Data and Artificial Intellig Intelligence Authority. And we gave this uh, new organization all the empowerment it needed, so we linked it to the uh, senior leadership here in Saudi Arabia. A few countries have done so, and I think multiple other countries can make use of this uh, experience. So as uh, I said, I repeat, the best way uh, to promote and accelerate the adoption of AI to exchange to share the knowledge and experiences uh, across the borders. And this is what we have uh, done uh, so far. To you, how? Thank you, Excellency. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I think that uh, we are very lucky to get uh, Highness uh, the Crown Prince to uh, personally support uh, AI initiatives from uh, Saudi and also to support uh, this work in the world. And I'm very grateful with uh, actions uh, you have done to promote uh, international cooperation. I know that you are not only uh, try to do something by yourself, but you try to reach out to those uh, partners, those countries, those private uh, uh, you know, industry leaders and uh, experts you know, to help to work together. So my sincere thanks to you, uh, Dr. Abdullah bin Shara uh, Agadi, President of Saudi Data and uh, Artificial Intelligence Authority, and to all the people who are bringing ITU and uh, Saudi Arabia close together. And uh, uh, Chairman, I am also like to <laughs> uh, glad to tell you that uh, this year the Saudi is the host country of G20. As host country of G20, Saudi is a very kind to ITU. Myself, I was invited several times by our host to join different meetings of ministerial roundtables, including the Minister of Health, Minister of ICT, Minister of, uh, you see, the finance, you know. <laughs> and I was also invited by uh, your private sector to join the summit of science and technologies, so that uh, we are very good friends of uh, Saudi. So, uh, but anyhow, I think that uh, we, we will work together. The, the uh, pitch of the ITU Saudi Arabia partnership is constantly growing from cooperation agreements in areas such as ICT regulations and smart cities to ITU being a knowledge partner 
of the Digital Economy Track of Saudi Arabia's 2020 G20 presidency. And it's, it's wonderful. And uh, of course, you know that uh, uh, today's MOU is a new chapter in the strong and enduring relationship between ITU and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We at ITU look forward to strengthening our cooperation with uh, SDIA on projects like the AI readiness uh, landscape framework and many others. I'm confident that this new step in our cooperation will optimize the benefits of AI for sustainable development and help countries use AI for the benefit of all humanity. So I also like to take opportunity to thank our chairman yourself for your personal enthusiasm to work with ITU. And we will assure you that we will not make you disappointed. We try to go together with you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency.